the Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative can provide sustainable agriculture through biogas production. We are here now. Biogas is the product of fermentation in a reactor vessel also called a digester where manure and other products are mixed, maintained at 105 degrees Fahrenheit for an extended period with natural microbes that produce gases that are approximately 60% methane, CH4, and carbon dioxide, CO2, with a trace of hydrogen sulfide, the cause of the odors. An OHFC biogas production facility that includes valuable fertilizers for domestic and export, specialized growing products for agriculture, commerce, and home, OHFC macro grow, biotic humectant for soil regeneration, electrical generation and thermal energy, burning thousands of tons of methane annually, greenhouses, three acres in each plant, sequestering thousands of tons of carbon dioxide, vegetables and secondary processing into salads, affordable and available rural and urban farmers markets, construction and manufacturing, environmental cleanup, eliminating phosphorus pollution, thousands of permanent jobs in production and distribution. This NASA satellite photograph shows the blue-green algae throwing off toxic waste poisoning Lake Erie water. The NASA, NASA satellite photo shows blue-green algae all around tiny Lake St. Clair flowing into Lake Erie's massive formation of blue-green algae, also fed by the Maumee River with a runoff from farms in Indiana, Michigan, and Ohio. Most of it is caused by farm manure dumped in desperation on fields like this with 10,000 gallons per acre to empty the overfilled manure lagoon. Roundup corn and beans grown with no-till practice make the hard-packed soil surface almost impenetrable, and rains cause the manure to run off. Moon River has been changed to Manure River. OHFC can eliminate this problem 100% in 10 years. Here's why. It takes a big facility. Three of the, eight, three of the four 85-foot diameter digester vessels are shown above. The four will consume 340 tons per day of farm animal manure. A single cow will dump 14 and a half pounds of feces and urine daily. A 2,000 head cow herd will put out 60,000 tons of liquid manure annually. A hog nursery barn fills its basement manure pit with 1 million gallons of liquidized manure every year. A new 600 foot broiler barn kicks out 1,600 tons of manure every year. We aggregate many farms. This is an unrelenting flood a river of manure. The colloquial, colloquial expression describing a hopeless condition as up S-H-I-T creek without a paddle, well, we're all there right now, but we don't have to be. The U.S. EPA promulgated their regulations to cover the Clean Water Act of 1970s more than 40 years ago. These laws have been litigated ad infinitum. Since the introduction of Roundup in the early 1990s, the situation has been exacerbated by the no-till practice where soil surfaces are undisturbed by cultivation. Farms have gotten bigger. The size of animal herds has grown. The large number of manure-generating animals produce more manure than can be absorbed efficiently on their farms. OHFC biogas facilities are at critical mass, in other words, big enough to make substantial profits. 
The biogas produces heat and light for greenhouses that absorb carbon dioxide growing huge vegetables quickly year-round. These OHFC biogas facilities require big markets. Fortunately, the markets are worldwide and the products are in great demand. OHFC has organized a marketing cooperative, the Global Healthy Food Cooperative Incorporated, an Ohio Farmers Association designed to sell everything that we produce at a profit. The biogas facility produces 118 tons per day of 28% solids dry fertilizer. That is broken down into two streams, one sold as is, and the other enhanced to produce 400 tons per day of blended products. The liquid portion of the discharge from the separator vessels is transformed into a humectant, a new and revolutionary restorative fluid to rebuild soil fauna efficiently. There are literally hundreds of CAFO and AFO farms within a 25-mile radius of Millersburg in Holmes County, Ohio, a tremendous source of manure. Reinvestment is the basis of growth and expansion. The philosophical model of the Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative is set forth in the Articles of Incorporation that mandate the reinvestment of all surplus funds and those accounting funds allocated but unused for a period of from three to five years in new productive facilities. These facilities include new biogas units, all include a minimum of 22 greenhouses, secondary processing plants where vegetables have value added, distribution hubs to facilitate the delivery of fresh vegetables and fruits, rural and urban growing centers with farmers markets, construction and manufacturing units as well. The Mondragon Cooperative of Bosque, Spain is the model of organization for the Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative dedicated to the concept of reinvestment of profits for a period that allows maximum growth. The market for OHFC services in cleaning up the environment and generating permanent jobs in producing valuable products and healthy foods exists today and is huge. There are more than one million animal feeding operations in the USA. Billions of tons of manure are flooding the country in a never-ending river that must be brought under control. OHFC is the first step. The Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative and its affiliate, the Global Healthy Food Cooperative, will license and fund new cooperatives around the nation. The gas, biogas, compressed after dehydration and cleanup, is used as a motor fuel for trucks that will pick up and haul manure from many farms to the central processing facilities. This allows OHFC to set up a facility central to these manure sources. There are several large cheese makers in the Holmes County area that generate millions of gallons of nutrient-rich whey. Grocers in Ashland, Worcester, Mansfield, Newark, Mount Vernon, and Millersburg have vegetable waste they must dump. Cellulose is a valuable constituent of the re reactor vessel mix. There are two poultry processing plants in the Holmes County area with another in Canton. The sources of materials for the digester are extensive. The best product out of the OHFC biogas facility is the liquid effluent that we call OHFC macro grow that makes up 75% of the revenue with a cost of production under 12% of sales income. Producing about 550,000 gallons monthly, it will be sold in 45 gallon drums and 320 gallon totes for farm use. Export will also be in both sizes. The smaller two and a half and five gallon jugs will be sold for domestic, small farm, and household use. 
The product contains 20 to 30 stains, strains of natural soil bacteria, friendly nematodes, protozoa, algae, and mycorrhiza in high concentrations. The finished product, OHFC Macro Grow, will contain 10 to the 12th power microbes per liter, about 10 trillion. The most remarkable outcome is the use of the microbes to release bound minerals by solubilizing phosphorus and releasing iron. MacroGrow breaks down field detritus on the surface quickly, generating humus and permitting field entry without clogging equipment. Over a few years, the depth of friable soil extends 40 inches and more below the soil surface. The aerial raining day photo shows a field dry except for a natural drainage swale with flooded fields surrounding it. A survey showed that the field was approximately three inches higher than its neighbors. The farmer gets onto his land two weeks or more before anyone else, has less resistance drag on his seeding equipment with warmer, drier soil allowing uniform gen germination. The greatest benefit is that after three to four years, it's not necessary to supply phosphorus or potash. Nitrogen use is halved, and best of all, crop yields increase as much as 35%. Less cost, better yields, what could be better for the bottom line? The greater depth of frangible soil creates a holding sponge for rainwater that soaks in and does not run off for drought resistance. All of the 17 trace minerals essential for good crop development become available naturally, eliminating the purchase of supplements. The chart on this slide shows the calendar months in which it's possible to apply fertilizer, about 12 weeks. The phosphorus runoff restrictions imposed by Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and Ontario limit the time during which manure may be spread. The chart clearly shows that the time for application is about six weeks at each end of the growing cycle. The manure is pr produced every day. The OHFC plant operates continuously year-round and discharges finished product daily. The farmer is faced with an overflowing manure lagoon on a regular basis. OHFC eliminates that problem for the producers. The effluent discharge is divided into three parts. The solids are split into two streams. One is sold as is. The other stream is enhanced to produce consumer and commercial products as well as specialty fertilizers for farms and, re and, and consumers. The liquid portion becomes HFC, HFC macro grow. To avoid cash flow and storage problems, OHFC shall export more than 40% of production to areas where the window of application is larger. That opportunity exists between the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn in the equatorial zone. The following slide shows continental Africa where except for North Africa, Morocco, Algeria, Libya, and Egypt, the entire continent is within the zone described. The rainy season that hopefully occurs annually limits some application, but the area is so large that the inconvenience of that season is not an issue. With the use of macro grow, the need for dry fertilizers will be reduced except for the specialty products used in intensive agriculture. The market for fertilizer in Africa is large, and because regular fertilizer is in short supply, it's allocated a year in advance, the market will absorb all we can produce. The microbial humectant macro grow will make a great contribution by improving the drought resistance of cropland. The continental African market will be approached through the West African nations of Senegal and Guinea. Good port facilities are available at Dakar and Conakry. Shipments made by standard 40-foot shipping containers can be trucked to other centers where they can be broken down for local sales. It will be necessary to set up warehouses and sales organizations. 
Obviously, these marketing strategies require huge investment in advertising, promotion, direct sales, and technical contacts with warehousing. No single on-farm unit is capable of marshalling the forces necessary to accomplish all of this work. The OHFC and its Global Healthy Food Cooperative affiliate will be able to fund the effort going forward by crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is a phenomenon approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission using the power of the Internet and World Wide Web to bring millions of small investors into play, investing in businesses like the Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative. An Ohio Cooperative is not for, uh, an Ohio Cooperative is a not-for-profit association of like-minded persons that form a group effort, effort to accomplish some particular objective. The term not-for-profit should, should not be construed to mean that it is a charity. OHFC is determined to earn profits. The phrase not-for-profit, as related to the cooperative form of organization, simply means that the corporation is not taxed. Its members are taxed upon distribution of surplus funds that they may receive annually. In other words, no double taxation. Self-funding with debenture bonds. The association does not issue shares of stock. It is a membership association. Funding this format is frequently done with a subscription and annual membership fees since there are no shares. The Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative Incorporated will fund itself with OHFC debenture bonds, a, a debt instrument that is not secured by real property or chattel. It is a faith-based financial instrument that acknowledges a fixed debt with a firm repayment date and a fixed interest rate. The unique feature of the OHFC debenture bond is that all denominations of $2,000 and more carry a 10-year term, paying fixed interest of 6% per annum, and are redeemed in 10 equal annual installments so that the principal amount shall have been fully redeemed on the 10th, 10th anniversary date of the debenture bond. The example shown in the graphic above is for a $25,000 OHFC debenture bond available to qualified investors and institutions. The cherry on top of the whipped cream is this. The purchaser of these $25,000 debenture bonds is granted a paid-up membership extending some years beyond the term of the bond. The $25,000 bond carries a fully paid-up membership in the Ohio Healthy Food Cooperative for 17 years. That translates into an equal membership share of all profits distributed by act of the Board of Directors for all surplus distributed following the reinvestment program. As you can see from the chart, the amount received by the investor in uh, interest and recoupment uh, at the 38th month, uh, nils out his uh, principal investment. You can join by buying an OHFC debenture bond on our crowdfunding portal, www.capitalfunderscoop.com, using our PayPal process. The SEC rules specify that the maximum individual investor amount is $2,000. Non-membership OHFC debenture bond denominations set at 4.5% interest are $20, $50, $100, and have a five-year term and pay out in full on the fifth anniversary with a lump sum payment including accrued interest. $250 and $1,000 OHFC debenture bonds pay 4.5% interest with five-year terms and confer membership during that term. 
The smaller denomination pays out with accrued interest in one lump sum at the end of the term. The $1,000 OHFC debenture bond pays interest annually and is cashed out at the end of the five-year term with a 50-year interest and principal paid fully. The $2,000 bond has a 10-year term and pays 6% interest fixed. It is redeemed in 10 equal annual installments and carries an 11-year fully paid membership. The $10,000 OHFC debenture bond pays 6% and is redeemed in 10 equal annual installments, conferring a 15-year fully paid membership. We have something for everyone. This waste of a valuable resource must be channeled into a productive use that eliminates pollution and creates jobs for thousands of our fellow citizens in both cities and countryside. We cannot afford to continue this pollution. Join the battle against runoff, poverty, and unhealthy GMO food. Buy an OHFC debenture bond. We have a denomination that will fit your budget. See our crowdfunding portal, www.capitalfunderscoop.com. Stay out of the park, get up, and stand for something real.